All right, we all know that Palantir is up an insane amount from the lows of $6.50 roughly. That was November and December of 2022. So a little bit less than two years ago. So the two year return on Palantir is almost 500%. Many investors, including myself, are up multiple hundreds of percent on this stock. When you're up multiple hundreds of percent on a stock in a very short period of time, it can be very tempting to sell. And I know a lot of people are trimming their Palantir positions and some people are exiting them completely. I just have a few things I want you to think about before deciding to sell Palantir stock. We're going to talk about all that in this video, but first, if you're new here, I'm Austin. I'm a co-owner of cloudmusicweed.com. I'm also a stock market investor, and most importantly for this video, I'm a Palantir shareholder. I've been a Palantir shareholder since 2020. Real quick, if you're not subscribed, become one of those 4,000 or so subscribers that we've got so that you can see more videos just like this one. All right, let's jump into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about with Palantir is if you're considering selling, you've got to believe that Palantir is not a generational company. One of those companies like Apple, like Amazon, like Nvidia, like AMD, like Salesforce. Those companies are up thousands of percent, depending on the company, over the last five, 10, 15, and 20 years. And of course, one of the best examples out there is the NVIDIA stock. If you were holding NVIDIA 10 years ago, let's say you put $10,000 into NVIDIA stock 10 years ago, you would be up 32,000% on your shares. Just a small investment of $10,000 in NVIDIA 10 years ago would have turned into 32 million dollars from 10,000. That's so ridiculous. But NVIDIA is a game changer. NVIDIA is actually doing things that no company has ever done before. And they're doing it on the biggest scale ever, selling to the biggest, most important companies in the entire world to bring AI to life and revolutionize these companies' AI efforts. They have the best products in their category by a long shot. And the management team and the sales team does exactly what they need to do in order to come through with the numbers every single quarter. And they have for multiple multiple decades now. That is why NVIDIA has gone up 32,000% over the last 10 years. And obviously, shareholders have been rewarded in a ridiculous way. If you believe that Palantir can be that company for AI modeling and ontology, then you've got to hold Palantir stock. So if you believe that Palantir has the best products of their kind, and you believe that ontologizing a business is going to unlock an insane amount of potential, and basically every business can use it throughout the entire world, and this can become a global company that pretty much everyone has to use, then you've got to hold Palantir. If you think that the ontology of a company, meaning making a digital replica and being able to run models, make decisions inside the digital replica in order to see what the best decision is in order to find the inefficiencies with a company and tackle those inefficiencies at their core before they even happen inside of Palantir software. If you believe that that has the potential of creating the kind of impact that makes a company be one of those top dog companies like Apple, like Microsoft, like Amazon, like Nvidia, the multi-trillion dollar companies that are running the market, that are running commerce right now. If you believe that Palantir's products can be one of those products you can't sell Palantir stock right now. Because if that's true, multiple hundreds of percent gain is nothing. If we're talking about this company is gonna be one of the most important companies in the world, and everyone is gonna to have to use their products or else they're gonna to lose to their competitors, meaning I gotta use Palantir because they make my business so much more efficient that if I don't, I'm gonna get absolutely crushed by my competitors. If the product is that powerful, then the value that we have left to unlock in terms of shareholder potential and shareholder return, we haven't even seen anything yet. Hundreds of percent is going to look silly when we look back at this if we're right that this is a game changing company. A lot of future growth is being baked into the share price right now. But let me be clear, that does not mean that Palantir is done running. It is absolutely possible that Palantir runs to 45, to 48, to 50 in a very short period of time by the end of the year or by early 2025. That's totally possible. But also the valuation is such that I wouldn't be surprised if one little piece of bad news brings the share price way back down into the 30s. I wouldn't be surprised either way. No matter what happens, me personally, I'm holding my shares. More than likely in the next earnings report, the Palantir reports, they're gonna report a revenue growth number that is at or near 30% growth. 
And that is like a magic number because so many times in Palantir's early days of being a public company, Alex Karp would talk about a five-year compounded annual growth rate of the revenue around 30%. And to have a SaaS company with a rule of 40 score in the 60s, a bulletproof balance sheet, net income that is absolutely exploding, income from operations that's exploding, margins are improving, they've got the best products in their category, and they've shortened their sales cycle from months down to days. And on top of that, you've got re-accelerating revenue growth that is a company that can go crazy in terms of the stock price we've already seen it but like i said if we see a revenue growth number at or near 30 percent and that revenue growth rate is still accelerating palantir stock is probably going to run even further i know it seems high with a gap trailing 12 month pe of 253 and a gap forward pe of 231 but it's totally possible if we keep seeing that revenue growth accelerate that the stock keeps on flying for quite a few more months so if you do decide to sell or you do decide to trim your position in hopes of getting in at a lower price yes it's possible that palantir drops but i think more than likely palantir is going to keep this momentum behind it as they keep on reporting great earnings for the next many many quarters to go in the future there is absolutely no guarantee that if you sell at 40 you're going to be able to get back in at 35 and if we're talking about a generational company that you're going to be holding for the next 10 to 15 years what is the difference between a 42 dollars stock price and a 35 dollars stock price whenever you look out 10 15 years and let's just say hypothetically the stock price is at 300 dollars or 400 dollars the difference between 42 dollars and 35 dollars is minuscule at that point you're just playing with small numbers whenever the big reward is at the end of the road many years from now if you're just patient and you hold and then the last thing to consider which a lot of newer investors might not have considered this yet if this is your first stock that has gone up multiple hundreds of percent and this is the first time you've really had a large dollar amount gain and you're holding these shares in a taxable account if you sell that is a taxable event if you're holding these shares in a roth ira if you're holding them in a traditional ira in an hsa 401k etc something that's tax sheltered of course that won't create a taxable event so you won't have to pay any taxes on that especially if you're in a roth off, that's a great position but personally me i hold the high 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 majority of my shares in a taxable account for palantir if i was to sell out i would have a very large tax bill that i need to pay and if i'm selling before the end of 2024 i'm going to have to pay those taxes at the beginning of 2025 due tax time i've heard a lot of stories over the years of people taking let's say ten thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand dollars worth of profit on a single stock and then they take all that profit and they put it back into more equities and they don't take any out in order to pay taxes on that in the following year if you didn't take any out to pay taxes you're going to be in an unfortunate situation because let's say you took that thirty thousand dollar gain or whatever you've got on palantir you sold you take all that thirty thousand dollars and you put it into i don't know amazon stock or something and let's say amazon stock over the next six months drops by twenty percent so your thirty thousand dollars turned into twenty four thousand dollars or maybe the entire market has a downturn and we have all equities dropping a little bit now you're in a position where you've got to raise cash from your accounts in order to pay this tax bill and you might have to sell something else at a loss just because you didn't hold the money aside after creating that taxable event if you would have just held the shares you wouldn't create that taxable event at all especially if you believe like i've been saying this entire video that palantir over the next 10 to 15 years is going to be much more valuable than it is now then why would you sell now you would have the taxable event you have to worry about all that situation and you've got to find another stock or another few stocks in order to split that money into that are better opportunities than palantir there are not that many stocks that are generational opportunities that have the potential to give you a thousand percent return two thousand percent three thousand percent return etc it's not like these stocks are riddled throughout the entire stock market it's only a few special companies so those are just a few things to consider and of course this is the perspective of a palantir bull i understand the philosophy of no profit taken is ever a bad profit taken so if you want to take some profits do your thing i think it's just important to think through some of these things if you don't have someone in your life who's also a stock market investor who's maybe more experienced than you are in the market or equally as experienced as you are in the market you might not have someone to bounce these ideas off of when you're thinking about selling a stock that was my purpose of making this video hope you're able to think through some of these things before you choose to sell palantir and if you do enjoy your profits if you don't enjoy the ride that palantir is about to go on over the next 
10 to 15 years, I'll be right there along with you. If you've got respect for me, no matter what you do, I just wanted to share my perspective on this. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video. If you want to drop a like and a subscribe before you head out, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.